This is Project 3, Site Logistics and Planning of the Expansion of Davis Wade Stadium at Mississippi State University. This is being presented by Kyle Alford, Evan Fuller, and Brent Godet of, of the Building Construction Science Department at Mississippi State University. Mississippi State University had plans drawn up to create an expansion of the stadium that would raise the amount of seating in the stadium from 55,000 seats to 61,000 seats. The expansion would occur in the north end zone and would include grandstand seating, class seating, lodge seating, suites, and field level seating. Construction on the expansion began in 2012 and projected to finish in 2014. Mississippi State University hired Roy Anderson Corporation to construct the expansion of the Davis Way Stadium. Roy Anderson Corporation self performs and hires subcontractors to perform work for them in projects. They are proud of the quality of safety that they in, in, ensure on every job site for employers and pedestrians. The current plan installed at Davis Wade Stadium is to use minimum laydown space as possible. This is due to the lack of laydown space available. The way in which this is being solved is by bringing in material that can be installed immediately upon arrival. This is done by trucking in the material and then a crane lifting the material into place to be installed. The site was to be kept orderly and in good condition. The majority of the concrete to be poured would be poured at night in order to avoid campus traffic and activities. This in turn would require the form work to be completely done in time ready for the pour. Here's a 2D representation of the current layout of the site Roy Anderson has for the stadium expansion. Their site access is five open double gates into the job site and a single lock gate into the job site. They also have one open gate uh, into the laydown site. There's no security at any of these gates and no check check-in points for workers or arriving material. Uh, the material staging is that they have a small way down site on the left of the site. Also um, parking for and unloading for 18 wheelers is occurring at the main gate. Um, there's a large lay down site off of the um, original construction site as well as Connex box storage and 18 wheeler storage on site. The site security is there's really no gate security at all. All gates are open during the day with no security at the lay down site either. Um, there's no visible night security and no visible security cameras on site. There's no check-in for workers and no check-in for arriving or leaving material. They do have a covered fence surrounding the entire site and lay down site. Um, the equipment used on site is there are concrete pumps and a few diesel tanks located inside of the main gate and there's two track cranes on the exterior of the construction site lifting in material and one mobile crane on the right side of the stadium that's being used to lift and install material and a few man lifts and bobcats scattered throughout the site. Some of the peripheral buildings and activities that Roy Anderson is having to take into account is the sporting events and other activities that are occurring at Davis Wade Stadium. Um, Bar Avenue, College View Drive, and BS Hood Road are all busy roads on Mississippi State's campus and they're going to have to make sure that nothing occurs that would hurt pedestrians using these roads or hinder the traffic that occurs daily throughout the school. Um, the next slide is a short video of what the precast material that they're unloading and installing looks like and where it's being installed on the stadium. Some of the on-site problems War Anderson Corp is facing are multiple access points, little of no security, no wash down area, campus traffic, proximity of job trailers, site condition, lay down availability, lay down organization, conflicts with university activities, and material arrival. Following, it, following is a short video of the disorganization on the lay down site. Our plan is to deliver, to deliver only material that can be installed immediately onto the stadium. The site will remain clean and organized so that no material is lost and no workers are put into a dangerous situation due to a messy site. Workers will enter the site by a small gate and have their employee ID scanned when leaving and coming onto the site by a security guard. 
Also, a security guard will, will observe any material and equipment leaving and coming onto the site. Security cameras will be placed within the site to ensure a safety measure are followed and to keep an eye on the site when no workers are present. Also, all equipment that leaves the site must be washed down to prevent hazardous on the roads and keep the surrounding area clean. Here is a 2D representation of our site plan and it's a plan view of what the stadium at Davis Wade would look like. And um, our site access is going to be one open gate during the day that trucks may deliver material and equipment to the site. We'll also have one open gate going into the job trailer area and from there there will be one single main gate that workers will have to go through to enter the job site from the job site trailer area. And then there will also be one open main gate at the off-site laydown area and one closed gate at the east end of the site that can be open for deliveries. Material staging um, will go that all material will enter through one gate from the front of the site. Material can be unloaded from the road also and then onto the site. And then all precast material will be delivered and planned to immediately be picked up from the trailer and installed onto the stadium is how the material will be installed and delivered. Site security, um, all open gates will be manned by security at all times. Night security will patrol the perimeter fence at night. Security cameras will be placed throughout the site. All gates not in use will remain locked. All material and equipment will be checked in at the main gate on site by security. All workers must scan their employee ID at the employee gate coming from the job site trailers and pass through security. And a perimeter fence will be installed around the entire site. The personnel buildings um, that we'll have on site are 10 porta johns placed throughout the site strategically, nine job site trailers in the job trailer area. Um, one site trailer will be by the main gate from which a superintendent and a um, security guard will be that will watch the flow of traffic and construction. Parking will be in the job trailer area. Um, on site rest area for workers will also be in the job trailer area, area and utilities will be set up by the job trailers. The equipment on site will be two track cranes placed on the outside of the stadium to lift and install material and equipment. Um, there will also be one mobile crane placed on the right side of the stadium, the west, um, for unloading equipment and moving materials. Bobcats and man lifts will be parked in the designated parking area and used accordingly. There will be water pumps that will remove water from the uh, site to try and keep the site as dry as possible and there will be two diesel tanks on site. And all the equipment and vehicles that leave the site will be washed down in the wash down location located at the uh, entrance of the site at the main gate. In conclusion, um, we kind of did a comparison for our conclusion of what Roy Anderson, we believe they kind of faulted on and uh, were problems in their planning and site logistics and then our plan of which we believe we remedied those problems. Um, one of their problems was they had no site monitoring and we decided to have security cameras installed on our site. They had no gate monitoring and we plan on having all security uh, manning the gates at all times during the work day. Um, they had multiple access points and we plan on closing off one gate and then the west side gate having it locked except for deliveries. They have no employee check-in that's visible and uh, we were planning on having an ID scanner to check in employees when entering and leaving the site. They have no washdown area so that mud just kind of scatters down the road whenever equipment and vehicles leave and we plan on washing down all equipment and vehicles whenever they leave. Um, their site looks pretty disorganized and we plan on just having a clean site and having everything organized in, in its place so there's no wasted material and also we plan on drying up the site so that the mud's not really an issue going down the road and it's just easier to work there. Um, also they have a very disorganized laydown site and we plan on cleaning up and organizing the laydown site and trying to use it to its fullest potential due to the minor amount of laydown sites we have. And also it's the proximity of job site trailers to the construction site and the entrance gates. We plan on placing a job trailer um, next to the main gate to help monitor the gate and the construction site better than it already is. Our closing remarks. The construction site is Davis Way Stadium at Mississippi State University. The contractor who is performing the work is Roy Anderson Corporation. Film editing was performed by Brent Godet and Evan Fuller. Video capturing was performed by Kyle Offord. Uh, we hope you enjoy this presentation.